Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to our first day back after a long break. I hope you guys had a really great Christmas and um, got to spend some time with your family and do some fun things. So it is time for us to start some learning for this new week. And so I want to show you a couple of things um, that we're going to be working on today. So first of all, we have a brand new kindergarten read and write like a rock star book that we're going to work on for January. And for some of you, um, you've already started book two, but for the rest of us, we're going to start book two. So yay, we finished our first book and we're starting our second one today. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you and let's go ahead and get started with our stuff that we're going to learn today. Okay, so make that nice and big. So go ahead and get out your backpack bear reading and writing book number two, so make sure it has a two on it. And we're going to go ahead and turn to the first page that says, Zach the Rat. Okay, Zach the Rat. And here is Zach. So what we're going to do today is we're going to learn about um, the short sound of A. Because A has two sounds. A can say A ah, as an apple, astronaut, and ant. But it also makes a second sound. It says its name A, but we'll learn about that later. For right now, we're just going to focus on the short A of sound of A. And so when you see an A with a little U on top, that means it's saying it's short sound, which is A, ah, it's sound. Okay? So let's take a look at these pictures here in section number one. So go ahead and point to the apple. Apple says A ah, at the beginning. Let's go ahead and break to number two. Astronaut says ah at the beginning as well. And let's point to number three. Ant has that ah sound in it also. So what we're going to do is we're going to write the letter A because each one of these has that ah sound at the beginning. And remember, when we write the lowercase a, start at the middle line and go to the bottom line and make a number one and then just make a letter C. And touch it just like that. Okay? So down from the middle line to the bottom, a number one, and then make a letter C that connects onto it, and that's the lowercase a. All right, so at any time if Mrs. R is going too quick for you, just go ahead and press pause. Remember how we did that? I know it's been a couple of weeks since we've had school, so I just want to give you that reminder. Okay, so let's take a look here. Section two says listen is short A in the middle of this word. So here is Zach, okay? And Zach has a Z at the beginning of his name and a C at the end of his name, and he has an A in the middle of his name. So let's go ahead and write our A and trace our letters. Okay, so you're gonna trace the Z right in your A and trace the letter C. Let's go ahead and sound it out. Z, A, Zach. And we put all those individual sounds, the Z, A, K, from each letter, and we say it fast and blend them together. It spells Zach. Okay. So now we're going to go around and we're going to listen to each one of these words and listen to the sounds as Mrs. R says them. So say them after me. I will say them first, and then you copy after me. Bag. Your turn. Sun. Bat. Fish. Hand. Fan. Bed. Hat. Okay? So let's go back to this first one. B -a -g. Do you hear the a sound in the middle of the word bag? Yeah. So we're going to draw a line from bag. And every time we hear a word with the a ah sound, and we'll draw a line from the picture to Zach. Now, let's look at the second one. Sun. S, uh, mm, uh, uh, uh. U is in the middle of the word sun, and it does not make that a ah sound. So we're going to cross it out. Okay? Let's try the next one. Bat. B, a, ah, t. Does bat have the a ah sound in the middle? B, a, ah, t. Yes, it does. So we're going to draw a line. Fish. F, I, sh. 
does fish have at at the beginning? No. Hand. 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 Do you hear the ah sound in hand? Yes, I do. Fan. Ah. Mm. Fan. Do you hear an ah sound in the middle of the word fan? Yes, I do. Bed. B. E. D. Bed. Do you hear an ah sound in the word bed? And hat. At. Do you hear an at sound in the word hat? Yes. See how easy that was? We're looking for pictures with the at sound. Okay, now if you're not done, go ahead and finish up, press pause, finish up, and then come join Mrs. R on the next page. Okay, so we are on page number one. Now we're going to go to page number two. So just turn this page over, okay? So this is something new that we're going to be working with. They're called word families. And word families are where you put two letters together um, to make a new sound, okay? So for example, this is an apple. Let me make this a little bigger so you can see it better. So we're gonna write a ah, because the first sound in apple is a, a, ah, a, ah, a. Ah. Nest, nest. Okay, let's take a look here. All right, so we're going to write um, an A sound here at the beginning. And then we're going to write a word family A, N. Okay? All right, so, oh, excuse me, sorry guys. This is R, supposed to put an N in there. Oh my goodness. So A N spells N. Sorry about that, my friends. So go ahead and erase that. Mrs. R um, is using a black marker here. And um, so I wrote the wrong letter and I can't erase it, but you guys can erase it. I'm sorry about that. All right, so let's look at the first word van. What's the first sound in an? V, right? Okay, here's Anne again, the word family Anne. So let's go ahead and look for the first sound. F fan, yes, letter F. F says f as in fan. Here's the next one, what is that? Can, okay. K A mm. And remember, each one of these words has the an sound in it, okay? This is a pan. What's the first sound? P, p, p. P, p, an. P, a, mm, pan. Okay. So let's look at these words again and let's read them. Van, fan, can, pan. All right, so now let's go to number two. This is the at family, word family, A-T. So apple, the first sound in apple is a, ah, and the first sound in tiger is t, 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 t. So when we put those together, a, ah, t. Now we can add letters at the beginning of the at family. Any words, we're gonna make new words. We can put a letter at the beginning and make a brand new word, okay? So this is mat, mm. What letter makes that mm sound in that? Letter M. Okay, here is a rat. Er. What letter makes the er sound? R. Mm -hmm. R A T spells er at rat. Here is bat. B -b -b. What letter makes the b sound? B. E. And then a. A, and then that T, that. Here is cat. What's the first sound in cat? K, k, k. C, k, a, k, a, t, t, right? 
So you can see all of these words have AT. They're part of the AT word family. If we add a new letter at the beginning, we can make brand new words. So let's read these. Mat, rat, bat, cat. Okay. All right. So if you want to go through these and color these, you can. Um, but you don't have to if you don't want to. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do, let's put this away. And put this aside. You need to get your um, kindergarten read and write like a rock star. Uh, pack it out, and it's for January, and it's this blue color. And we're going to go ahead and turn to the second page that says winter comprehension. Okay, so if you don't have this, go ahead and push pause and go ahead and grab this book. All right. So we are going to go ahead and read this together. So let's get our fingers ready and we're going to point to each word as Mrs. R reads. Okay, are we ready? Okay, here we go. It is winter. Winter, that's a new word, isn't it? Winter. I know that you all know what it means. It's a season of the year, winter. So let's read it again. Point to the words. Here we go. It is winter. Let's go to the next one. It is snowing. You guys know what snow is, right? It's a form of precipitation. So when the air is really cold and it rains and it's the right temperature and it's cool enough, it'll turn the rain into snow. So let's read it again. It is snowing. Let's go to the next one. This is a new word. Big snowflakes fall. Let's read it again. There's some tough words in there, huh? Big snowflakes fall. Let's go down to the last sentence. The snow is white. Let's read it again. The snow is white. Okay. So down here at the bottom, we have some questions that we can get our pencil ready to answer. So the first question says, it is summer, spring, winter, fall. So from our story, if you were thinking about, hmm, what did they talk about? Up here it says, it is winter. So it's asking, it is which season? Summer, spring, winter, fall. Winter, right? So you want to circle that winter. And then the second question asks, is it raining or snowing? Hmm. Up here, I think, is the answer to our question. It is snowing. So is it raining or snowing? So I'm going to circle the words so you can see it. And you're going to write it in the line. Snow. We can go ahead and copy it just like it is here. Snow. Okay. It is snowing. So go ahead and write that in there. Okay. And then we're going to turn to the back page. And on this part, you're going to need um, your scissors and your glue stick. So I'm going to go ahead and get out my scissors and glue stick. So we're going to do some cutting and gluing, which is always fun. Okay, and then I've got my adult scissors, and you've got your kid scissors. So you're going to need scissors and glue, and of course you're going to need your pencil, okay? So what we're going to do first is we're going to trace over our sentence here, and it says, it snows in the winter. So let's read that again. Everybody put your finger up here and let's read this sentence together. It snows in the winter, which for the most part is true, isn't it? We haven't gotten any snow yet, but I hope that we do this year. So we're going to go ahead and trace this sentence. It snows in the 
There's a period again. All right, so after you've traced that, what you're going to do is you're going to draw a picture. It snows in the winter. So let me go ahead and grab my pencil and I am going to draw a picture. It snows in the winter. So it can just be something really simple, just like this. I'm going to make these snowflakes just like this. These giant snowflakes, because it can some smaller ones, just like that. And then maybe make them kind of fancy like that. You don't have to make yours fancy. You can just make simple snowflakes if you want. And then make for all these little V's on here. And maybe I'll make this one a little bit different like this. Almost looks like a spider web, doesn't it? And there's like that, and you can kind of fancy. And it's fine just like that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab a blue. Although, you know, snowflakes aren't blue, but still, I wanna give them some color. So I'm just going to trace over, you guys don't have to make as many as me, you can just do a few, right? You don't have to have quite as many snowflakes as Mrs. R. So I'm just coloring in, giving them some color. Oops, it's a little bit bigger like that. Just a little bit. The snowflakes um, are interesting. Did you know that no two snowflakes are alike? Every snowflake is unique. Kind of like you and me, right? There's only one of us unless you're a twin. There's only one you. There's only one me. There's only one person in the whole wide world that's like your brother or your sister or your mom and dad, which is kind of cool. Okay, so I made my snowflakes. So I'm going to color in my little lodge here in my little house that's covered with snow. Give this a little color. Okay, there we go. All right. So then what we're going to do on the bottom is we're going to turn my paper here. So I'm going to just cut, be careful not to cut the paper underneath, so you need to lift it up to make sure you don't cut underneath. I'm just going to cut straight across like this, because we're going to build our sentence. So, this just like this, so you can see it. Okay, so I'm going to cut all of these words out. So um, if I'm ahead of you, just go ahead and pause if you're still working on your picture. And like I said, you could just draw, you know, one or two snowflakes if you want. You don't have to draw a bunch. So, so then I'm going to cut out each word. And then we're going to glue them in order. Use our sentences to make sense. Okay. So, let me move this up just a little bit so you can see it. All right. So, I've got all my words cut out here, and it looks like this. Let's read what this says here. It says, Winter, the it snows in. Now, that really doesn't make sense, does it? That sounds really odd. But up here it says, it snows in the winter. So what we need to do is we need to fix the sentence and make it match so it sounds correct. So the first word in our sentence up here is it. It, 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 let's find it. Ah, there's it. Does that look the same? Sure does. Okay, let's do it now. 
Now we're looking for it snows. So we're going to put S in it. It snows. Which one is it? Ah, is the sun look the same? Yeah. So let's put that in there. It snows in. in. It in. It's the same. Does that one look the same? Yep. It's kind of like a matching game, isn't it? Okay. In. It snows in the winter. The. Is that the. Does that look the same, boys and girls? Yeah. Okay. And our last one. It snows in the winter. And then the even part at the end of your sentence, a period, which is what we need to have in our sentences. Okay, look, go ahead and put the word on your glue stick. Because you're not going to need it anymore. You don't want it to dry out. Okay, so you've got some glue on my fingers. Okay, so let's go ahead and read the sentence together and make it nice and new. So let's go ahead and touch it. Everyone get their pointer finger ready. We're going to read it together. Okay, here we go. It snows in the winter. Let's read it again. It snows in the winter. And sometimes, um, in some places in the United States, um, it snows in the fall. It just depends on where you live. Um, sometimes we get snow in the fall, but not very often. All right, so let's go ahead and flip to the front of our book. I guess that's the second page of our book. And we're going to color in um, that we did, we read about winter. So we color in our star here. And we also did our writing. Yay. So I'm going to color that in here. And we are not going to worry about any of this bottom stuff, okay? So don't worry about that. So we've got one out of four done. So we've got a goal we're going to do. One a week and try to get these all finished. Okay. All right. So let me go ahead and put that away. So we finish that for today. All right. So today we learned about um, some word families in our Backpack Bear book. And we also um, did some reading and writing and gluing and cutting, um, talking about winter. So we did some reading in there. So I hope you guys are going to have a great day. I know you have some more learning to do, some math and other things for today. So I hope your day is great. And I hope that you work hard. And um, just know that Mrs. R is very proud of you. And I miss each one of you. And I can't wait to see you again. So have a great day. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye, everybody.